Hey bag ladies and bag dudes, I'm Sarah Lawson from So Sweetness. Thanks so much for joining me for Ask Sarah, my weekly Q&A chat. Hey everyone, I saw everyone watching on YouTube and Facebook leaving comments before the chat. So nice to see you. Thanks for spending your Tuesday evening with us. Danny's joining me for the... Hi, I'm Danny. <laughs> my husband Danny's joining me for the entire chat today. So hi to Marlene. Violet's putting some of the comments up on the screen right now. My daughter Violet, she's nine. Hi, Gwenna. I saw Kathy up on the screen. Thanks so much for joining us. Yvonne, Donna. All right, so we had a bit of a, let's put it this way. This has been like the longest day ever. That's pretty long. We spent the morning, we started filming a tutorial video that we were planning on showing tonight. And just to be completely honest, I stopped Danny halfway through the video. It was just for like a simple little project. And I stopped halfway through the filming and I said, I, I can't do this anymore. Um, no, she's like, should I stop? Uh, I, don't feel, I don't really feel like I'm into this one. I'm not so much like, it's like a struggle to complete it. And I'm like, you know what? If you want to don't, if you don't want to do it, I'm cool with that. And so I took it and I threw it in the delete bin really fast before she could say, no, sh let's not do it. And then we were committed because no way we were refilming all that again. So it wasn't just like halfway. It was probably an hour and a half into uh, the process. So The problem was I never envisioned myself doing a lot of simple projects, either patterns or videos. And by simple, I mean like, I don't know, just... Well, you know, like you already have the core club. Those are basic because you have small pieces of core. Yeah, I'm really it's a into basic pattern. Yeah, I'm really into doing the core club projects. But like, as far as like last week's hexy pouch, like just a simple project. Um, I'm really into you know either bags or even accessories that take me time to write the pattern, draw out the pattern pieces, photograph the steps. Like a long process. That's what I'm into. Detailed bags and accessories and things like that. And what we were working on for videos for every Tuesday, it was just not me, you know, and all of a sudden I stopped during the filming and I looked down and I was like, what am I doing? You know, that that was not where my heart is. My heart is in more detailed projects and longer videos like this. And so I decided we're going to change up our Tuesday shows a little bit. I mean, the whole concept for Ask Sarah was so people could ask questions live and I could answer them live. And it was my own doing, thinking that we could come up with a new video every Tuesday. And it was, I mean, most weeks we were doing it fine, but like, I'm just not into the projects, like the video for this morning that we were working on. I came up with the pattern pieces, everything this morning. We started filming the same day and it it's just not where I'm normally at. So we decided to scrap that and to complicate things, oh, sorry, to complicate things, our full-time employee that handles the orders in the cork, he needed sort of a mental health day today. So Danny and I did all the orders today, and we're going to do them the rest of the week just to make sure he's on track and okay. But um, it just kind of changed our perspective. Like, I think we got in, or at least I got in a little too far, and, you know, people are definitely more important, you know, our employee we care about how he feels about things and it just, I don't know, because it's our business and it was my decision to do the short little videos in the first place. We just decided to readjust and we're fine. Nobody's giving me this, these assignments and projects. So, um, do you have any? It's, well, it's, we're new in this field, mm -hmm. learning as we're going and, you know, we're trying new stuff and what works, we'll stick with it. What doesn't work, mm -hmm. well, you know, call an audible and go with the next step. I think that's just a, the process we're in right now. And it's a whole new field. And so I yeah. think we're so, learning from it. Yeah, not a lot's going to change. We're still going to do the two live videos a week. We're still going to finish out the Court Club projects, project videos because I'm really into those. I think the eyeglass case was probably one of my favorites that like I've done that in a while. Yeah, and that seemed like a quick and easy project. And we're still on track to do the hopefully – free video at the end of April, as long as we hit our challenge. By the way, our we hit our challenge goal for Sunday's live show. And if you missed Sunday's chat, um, what's the challenge for the month of April? Um, it was 100 shares on Facebook and 500 likes on YouTube. And that's for each of our live videos. So that's counting today. So um, if we hit our goals for the month of April, then I'll be releasing a free pattern and video for a smaller crossbody bag 
in two different sizes and I threw on, I tacked on there an, an additional free video for the Kennedy bag, which is also a free pattern. So um, just help us meet our goals. If you like the yep. live videos or just our videos in general, if you're watching on Facebook, if you'll hit the share button and share this video with your other sewing friends. And if you're watching on YouTube, if you'll like the video, which means hit the thumbs up. Um, then if we meet our goals throughout the month of April, then we'll be posting those free videos and free projects um, for everyone to enjoy. So um, let you want to do you know, your comfortable. Pick, do you want to get your pick of the week? Get first? excited! Pick the week's coming up. We're gonna answer some questions in a second, but Danny's got his pick of the week um, posted in the Facebook group. Um, just the project Pam that Davis. he enjoyed. Yeah, this is by Pam Davis. This I love is, the faux leather, the rivets, the the fabric. Um, this is the Renegade bag, and um, this fabric is from Alexander Henry. Um, it comes in, I think, two different colorways and a great graphic print, and it looked great with the the black vinyl and the rivets on it. So yeah. great job to Pam. Yep, great job, absolutely. Okay, so um, Danny's going to put some questions on the screen, and we'll answer some questions live. Uh, is, are there any questions, or is it mostly sympathy for... By the way, I have not showered in two days. I don't know what happened with that, but I I don't know if you knew I hosed that. her off with the yeah. <laughs> outside, which is walking to our daughter's school. So after the chat, my uh, number one uh, goal is to take a shower and read a book, and tomorrow will be a new day, so it's all yep. good. Nobody got hurt. Nothing bad happened. It's all it's all okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions, Danny? No, it's just support and comments okay. and stuff well, like that. Well, thanks for the support. I got some emails earlier today of people being supportive of... Uh, in the Facebook group, I sort of posted something similar to what I just told you about uh, how, how our day went today and how I was trying to um, adjust things going forward. And so thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. Uh, Millie says, are you going to do a video on the Sloan Travel Bag? Uh, yeah, actually, since I showed it recently on Social Sunday, there have been a lot of requests for that bag. And it's a really large travel bag. Violet, you want to grab the Sloan Travel Bag? It's, yeah, the, one, I do. What color it's the one with the map on it. Okay. It's like a beige looking oh, one. Oh yeah, you took it to your um, teaching. Yeah, okay. Violet's going to grab it and we can show it. Um, we'll try to get a video for that soon. It won't be in the bundle coming in May, but we'll try to get that one soon because I love using mine. It fits under the seat in an airplane, even though it's really big. Um, and it's just really handy to have. Here she comes. Thanks, Violet. Here's your Sloan travel bag. Thank you. All right, this is the Sloan travel bag. Maybe you can move the question yeah, up the screen sure. so we could see it, see how huge it is. <laughs> uh, so it's a big bag. It's got um, pockets on the side with snaps, kind of like the Oslo craft bag. Uh, there's a zipper pocket in the front, and there's a recessed zipper on the top. So it's huge. Um, what else was I going to say about this bag? Oh, this fabric is Tim Holtz fabric. It's a great matte print. He's got a lot of really... Um, edgy kind of maps and a lot of text on his fabric so um really cool bag and i put some purse feet on the bottom too thanks violet you're welcome um linda says can you use embroidery 40 weight thread for the bag um embroidery thread i probably wouldn't use embroidery thread for a bag but definitely either cotton or polyester 40 weight thread for a bag is great and i use 40 weight myself uh, Marianne says, what is the Kennedy bag? I've actually got that one in a suitcase. Um, maybe I'll show that one on Sunday. No, Violet, you won't be able to find it. Yeah. I have these two, hidden. Yeah, I have these two big suitcases that I take, um, as well as a lot of loose bags when I give a lecture, and it's in one of those big suitcases, so I'll try to pull it out for Sunday. I'll show it on Sunday's show. Um, Roxanne wants to know, is there a sewing retreat in September? We haven't posted about the September retreat yet, um, but it is September 27th through the 30th in Chicago. Uh, we'll be announcing that probably sometime in the middle of April. Um, the one in June only has a few tickets left, so yep. if you guys are interested, make sure you grab it up quick. Mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna be a fun time. Lots of really cool things to do while you're in the area besides doing the sewing retreat. It's in a, an entertainment district, so it's all walking distance to great restaurants, and a funny, zany comedy club, also, you can get on a train and go downtown. Pretty cool area. Yeah, I think some ladies last time went to the movie theater, which was in walking distance also, and they saw the the latest Tom Cruise movie. I don't even remember what it was at Probably the time. Mission but Impossible. No. 18. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brett wants to know, do you sell cork or leather in a full yard piece? Uh, we actually don't. The biggest that we sell, both of those, is a half yard piece, which is 18 by 54 inches. 
Um, it's just for ease of getting the product out to our customers and storage. We're doing all of this uh, cutting and shipping in our basement, which is really small, so we don't have a lot of room. Um, anyway, the half yard piece is the biggest that we currently sell. Uh, Connie says, what minikin will be showcased in April? I totally dropped the ball on the minikin challenge Sarah, for April. Sarah, we got to calm you down. You're getting so loud, you're like making the mic oh, go crazy. Sorry. Calm down, relax. I know it's an exciting day today. Relax a little okay, bit. Take sorry. it easy. <laughs> The microphone's going crazy. My daughter's giving me a little sign that says, hey, the mic level, mic level. It's too hot. Here, Violet, let's see the sign. Let's show them. <laughs> Red zone, high warning. Careful, careful. Sarah's just yelling okay. at everyone. All right. Relax, Sarah. All right, all right. We're all friends here, right? <laughs> um, I promise I will post the March Minikin Challenge for April tomorrow. So sorry that I, Easter and the holiday kind of threw me off track. I promise I will post it tomorrow, and I'll post it in the Facebook group. Also, the winner from last week. Did you mention that already? Oh, the winner from last week was... Hey, relax. Nice, calm. Michelle Stevens. There you go. And um, I've left a comment for Michelle, but in case you're watching, Michelle, please email me, and uh, I'll get you your prize from last week, which was a set of, I believe it was books and fabric. Oh, sorry. Um, Kathy wants to know, will you be doing a cooler bag? Oh, I will. Um, I don't know when. I already have the sketch and all the ideas for it, and I I haven't made it yet, but it, in my mind, it's going to be a quicker sew, and uh, I'm really excited about the cooler bag because um, our cooler bag is kind of drab and disappointing, so I'm looking forward to making a stylish one in a really bright and loud fabric, and it'll be... I'll probably laminate the fabric, and it's also going to be um, insulated. So I'm excited about the cooler bag. More beer, it sounds like. I oh, can be like Elena it. says an animal carrier is a fantastic idea. I thought so, that was interesting when I saw that. So my dad actually gave me that assignment um, a few weeks ago. An animal carrier bag that either you could take to the airport or just when you're traveling for a small dog or a cat or other animal. I guess it would be okay for a rabbit. So cooler and... Small animal carrier, definitely on my list. For sure, I will get to those this year. Um, hopefully before summer. We'll see. <laughs> uh, Maureen says, can you use the snap setter to put rivets in? Um, the snap setter tool, which I have on my desk over here, the snap setter tool, as far as I'm aware, just puts this, installs the snap setter snaps. If you're looking to put in rivets, you need either a tabletop Rivet press with we have a video on appropriate it as well. dies. Yeah, we have a video on, on the rivet press yep. or a handheld press, which will be a bit cheaper than the tabletop press. So as far as I'm aware, this tool just does the the snaps. Um, will you post the minikins on Instagram? Also, I don't have a Facebook account. Um, yes, I will. I will make a graphic and I'll post it on Instagram t sometime tomorrow after the blog post for the minikins challenge has gone up. Um, DIY with Danny. Will fabric be provided during the retreat? So we'll have a selection of cork fabrics to sell at the retreat, but um, as far as the projects that we'll be making, um, it's not included in the ticket price. So um, you, most people bring their own fabric and interfacing. And actually, I usually require prep work for when I'm teaching my patterns. So I'll be asking people to attach the fabric to the interfacing and cut everything out before they come to the retreat just because it usually takes me a couple hours, at least two to three hours, to cut out fabric and attach to interfacing, and we'd rather you spend that time sewing instead of uh, two to three hours at the retreat cutting out fabric. So not as fun as sewing, but... Um, Mary Christine wants to know, I know you mentioned at one time, but what size thread do you put in the bobbin? So if I'm using 40 weight thread to make a bag, I put 40 weight in both um, the top thread and the bobbin if I'm using a heavier or, or a thicker thread for some top stitching So maybe a 12 weight thread um, Which Oracle makes a great 12 weight thread, but if I'm using 12 weight thread I'll only use the 12 weight in the top and in the bobbin I'll use the 40 weight thread just because the four, uh, the 12 weight thread in the top and the bottom is a little bit too much especially in the bobbin um, But if you're using a 40 weight or a 50 weight, you can use the same thread in both the top and the bottom um, Diane wants to know, suggest, suggestion for a bag, a doctor style bag. Um, hmm. That tortoise one? Oh yeah, that's a good suggestion. It's like a traveling doctor's. Maybe the tortoise bag. The favorite, my favorite size to make the tortoise bag is medium for like a handbag, but they're size large for a bigger bag. I don't know if you could grab that one, Violet. Me? What is it? 
It's in the box on top of the suitcases, and it's got like uh, blue it's glitter, right? Blue glitter handles. I know. Which you know which one? one? Okay. Oop! There goes Violet. She's gonna grab it. Um, Darlene wants to know what bag can you suggest for diabetes supplies. So I'm not familiar with um, what the supplies look like or what the size. Um, maybe the Creative Maker supply case. Um, but if you have any more thoughts about like the size of the instruments or anything like that, go ahead and leave another comment and maybe I can make a better suggestion. Maybe the Kismet. The Kismet? Yeah, boxes? I, I've seen, uh, when I worked at the airport, people would have a smaller package, maybe like this big, about that tall with just uh, different insulin, the needles. And, oh, okay. Danny's saying the, and stuff like that. the it's Kismet a small, trinket boxes, yeah. you would think the biggest one? Yeah, well, the ones I've seen, they're usually like a case like this. Oh, okay. And sometimes they pack ice in there. So oh, maybe, I don't know if you have the okay. peas and corn lunch bag style. Okay. I can even use that That one. sounds good. Uh, um, oh, that was the same question. Yeah, Sorry. Sure. I, I hear Violet. She's All grabbing right. that tortoise bag. <laughs> it's a, well, Donna said, how about a video on how to fix mistakes? We all make them. Well, it depends. On, there's a lot of mistakes you can make while making a bag. Uh, That's true. Sewing it upside down, inside out. Ah, thanks for getting a panel. Uh, this, You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. So this is the tortoise bag. You want to take the questions off the screen so we can see the bag a little better? All right, Captain. Thank you. This is the tortoise bag. It's This is size medium. There's also small and large. I like the large one too, but I like this one for a handbag. And uh, yeah, it's just got these two zippers in the front that meet and... That's what the bag looks like. You do so, the sides, you can see the shape, yeah. Yeah, the side, hold it on the sides. Yeah, like do like a nice 360. Oh, okay. <laughs> slow motion. Oh, no. <laughs> so I don't know if that fulfills the doctor bag requirements, but. Someone said the Creative Maker is good for. Uh, creative Maker is good? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks for the comment. All right, so I'll put this one to the side. So do you have any thoughts on today? how today went, or are you just trying to No, I, I think down? I'm just too easy going. I really, I don't let stuff affect me so much, as long as Sarah lets me play video games in the evening, uh, <laughs> lets me wake up at 8 a.m., not 6 anymore, and uh, I can't be mad. I mean, I wake up happy. <laughs> I enjoy what I do, and uh, I, yeah, I'm happy about it. It's all thanks to you guys, and really appreciate it, and the support you guys offer us, and it's amazing. Uh, Linda says, would love to see a demo on fabric layouts since I'm a newbie. So actually, Danelle sent me an email a few days ago about a suggestion for a tutorial video for maybe Social Sunday regarding fussy cutting fabric and choosing fabrics for bags. And so I thought I would talk about that this Sunday. So that sounded good. So we'll be doing that on Sunday. Um, Kathy says, how about a day where you compile cool hacks? Uh, that's a great idea. And I also, we've yep, been like meaning it. to get to a video talking about c common tools that I use, because that's a pretty common question about threads, needles, markers, chalks. I follow some um, people that do videography and different stuff on YouTube, and one of the great things they have, like it's called their kit. It links it to a website, oh. to your page. It shows what camera they use, what lens they use, and it just gives you recommendations. It even has links, so you can go purchase it at Amazon. So if you want the exact same stuff they're using, guess what, you get a nice link, by the exact item they are they're currently using that you're familiar with. Hey, this looks like something I'd want. Boom, you can get so it. So it's really just easy. a one video. Do they talk about each product? It's not even or? a video. It's a, here's a link to my kit. It's called. It's a mm -hmm. there's a special website. It oh. links. They're a common website these videographers use to share their kits and it help. You know, if you're looking to get in their their field, so I, you maybe oh. you start a thing like that a website. So it's page. just a list. It's not necessarily a video. No, there's no video. It's a list of items. Oh. Like here's my. Panasonic GH5 with 18 to 35 millimeter lens. Uh, I got it from Amazon here, and I use this for close range video oh. or whatever the use may be. Well, I like the idea of the video though, so you can. Hey, I'm all about. So videos. I can explain why I used everything. I like videos. Because sometimes there's a reason why I would use this but not this or something like that. that well, I I can never turn down a comment that gives me a comment. My beard, my beard's a little wild actually. I gotta oh, the comment's the... not coming on the screen. Oh, uh, yes. They... <laughs> <laughs> you, you put that darn filter on it, Sarah, didn't you? You blocked it. Do you want well, me to says, just read it? Be my guest. Okay. Uh, the comment was, um, is this the paintball? Oh, yeah. okay. I play a lot of paintball. What fabric would you suggest I use for a bag that would carry my gear? By the way, Danny, you have a nice beard. 
I was actually looking forward to playing paintball. My cousin, his workers were going to play paintball, and they've got so into it. One guy bought a, a sniper rifle paintball gun and all this other cool stuff. I'm like, wow. Oh, there's just, the comment. Okay. It just perked my ears. I'm like, what? You can get all these cool accessories and shoot paintball guns? Hey, I want to get into that. So what size bag would a would Well, paintball, paintball guns are generally approximately like this long, I would say, and they have a CO2 canister that goes behind mm -hmm. it. They have a small one about this big and a larger one about that size. So you'd have, have an accessory. You, have you ever seen a yoga bag? Is it? Do you think it would be similar? Like uh, a long bag? It'd like have to be a little bigger than the yoga. I know the yoga bag for the roll yeah, that you yeah, put yeah. your stuff like. Mm -hmm. It's a little, the roll will hold the canister, but I think the gun itself, it's got a hopper that sits, so it's about this tall. Mm -hmm. It's about this long. Then so you have like an additional a long, canister. maybe a long duffel bag, but like a... Yeah. Okay. Yep. Hmm, that sounds like that. interesting. I could do that. I, I could do another man bag because I feel like, well, it's a bag, but I feel like I have a lot of girly looking bags in the stable. <laughs> you know, Samara also said about fabric choice and struggling with that. I remember seeing somewhere like there was a card you can use and say you're going to do a purple paint your house in a purple color. You spin this little wheel, it goes to purple and it shows you the matching colors that are contrasting oh, 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 complementary to it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. That would be something you'd want to use. Or even oh. if you buy like a fabric, like I don't Tula have Pink. one. I don't have one. But no, I no, I'm just saying like, for instance, you're buying Tula Pink. Mm -hmm. She has a line of fabric that match each other. That whole like... Well, all her fabrics like pretty much go together. Yeah, but they have like certain colors that are yeah. that set. You know, you get like a fat quarter of this Tula Pink, that color. Those fabrics all go together and you just pick, like Sarah would say before, you get mm -hmm. a salvage piece that selvage has the little colors in that fabric. If you want to match a non-coordinating tulip pink fabric, you can find, mm -hmm. uh, I forget what they're called, a, ma a masher. It's like the whatever the, the the fabric is, not the main fabric, but it's got oh, a little... Oh, blender fabric. A blender. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but we'll talk about on Sunday um, more in-depth fabric choices and fussy cutting and all that. Could you do Facebook Live in a fabric shop? Ooh, that's a good idea. Facebook yeah, Live in cool. a fabric shop. Can we do that, like, with the cameras and all that stuff? Um... It would be low quality. It wouldn't be the same quality as this because you're really dependent upon the internet speeds and would not be able to use these cameras. Okay. We'd need more, a different equ uh, set of equipment for that. That would be awesome though. We did have a uh, that video segment at a fabric shop, member. That's true, that wasn't live though. It was not live. Yeah. If live for us would have to be a cell phone, a tripod and be like stationary. And the quality would be poor, but sometimes you know live videos are just cool because they're out somewhere mm -hmm. different, you know? Yeah. I'm totally about trying new stuff. Interesting. Yeah, another excuse to go to the, to go to the fabric <laughs> shop. <laughs> Look for more uh, <laughs> embroidery machines. I'm running out of room to store all this fabric here. Uh, Deb wants to know: Are the patterns in your books for beginners or advanced bag ladies? Mm. I think it's a good range of projects in each of the books. Um, I I feel like I skew more toward intermediate, but there's definitely some easier proje projects in each of the books. Um, I don't have any videos for any of the book projects. But um, there are illustrations. So normally my single patterns, I have step photos. In both of the books, there's illustrations because the publisher just wanted something that was more manageable as far as content. And when I'm doing like a PDF pattern, I could just do it a gazillion pages if I wanted to. Not that I do, but sometimes the photos take up a lot of space. Anne says, it looks like that tortoise bag looks like a really good start or you could hack that bag into an animal carrier i think oh, you're yeah. totally right because i've seen those small they look chihuahua like this. or poodle where it's got the side like this the so instead of being a side opening up here oh, you have right. opening right here and it's got the, like the little mesh yeah, yeah. vents and stuff like that yeah. and they carry their dogs and the little head sticks out and stuff yeah <laughs> <laughs> sheila says hey love your channel i'm a beginner and would like to know what sewing machine you uh, recommend for beginners that's budget friendly. Good translation on that too. Um, hmm. So my my sewing machine costs around a thousand dollars, and I know that's especially for beginners, not um, necessarily something you might be interested in because you might not enjoy sewing as much as you thought. You um, might want to try eBay or even Craigslist locally to you. You might have someone that's maybe looking to sell their machine. They may purchase a, a more expensive one. You might be able to find a deal on a particular one that you can get. Uh, I don't know how Juki. I feel. I don't know how I feel about a beginner buying a a sewing machine from someone they don't know, like a used one. Oh yeah, then you can't go to shop and get like instructions well, on how to use it. Yeah, I I would say like your local quilt shop is your best resource because you could try the machine, and if you have any questions afterwards, you can go back as many times as you want and ask for help or um, suggestions on what you should do with uh, if you get stuck, like if your bobbin gets 
if you need to thread your bobbin and you don't remember, you can go back to the quilt shop. So that's probably the best suggestion I can think of. And they have a, a range of different prices at most quilt shops anyway, so they don't necessarily need to show you the most expensive machine. They have lower, um, less expensive machines also. So yeah, quilt shop would be a good idea. See, look, I'm sending right. through, but uh, Pam said, how about... Uh, oh, I see it, a layout okay. set? Yeah. Um, does that mean for a baby shower or, I don't know, do you know? No, I have okay. no clue. Leave us another comment, Pam, uh, Pat, and we'll uh, we'll get to the bottom of your question. Uh, Connie says, quilters use color wheels when planning a quilt. Yeah, I've seen them before. I need Is to get one. Is that what I was talking about? Yeah. That's what I... What you said, it, yeah, you can right spin here, it you and... Can see. Uh, Marie no, says it is a color wheel which shows primary, secondary, and tertiary, tertiary colors, I think. Plus, it, it's complements. Amazon has all of them. Uh, Melissa, this is funny. Melissa, I don't have an ex uh, I don't have to use an excuse, excuse to go buy fabric. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just jumps in your cart. You, you know, it's like every month I tell myself, all right, I have too much fabric. I'm not going to buy a fabric for the rest of the year. And then Tulip Pig comes out with two lines. Well, then like, tulip, oh, my God, 20 bolts. Yeah, Tulip... <laughs> Tula Pink comes out with a new fabric, or I get a lot of fabric newsletters in my email. I see something in the email, and I'm like, oh, just one more, just one more. But it's never just one more. <laughs> um, Donna says, go to the sewing machine shop, and they have used ones. Oh, I didn't think about that. That's a good uh, comment. Thank you, Donna. Um, Cheryl says, I know that I emailed you about this, but I would love to have you do a video on the coalition bag. Um, it is on my list. I'm just not sure the date as far as when we'll come out with a video for that one, but it's on my list. All right, any more questions? Yes, oh, um, Buster Bunny says, I have a Singer Heavy Duty number 4432. It's only $130 and it's great for bags. I haven't personally sewn on that one, but we'll take your recommendation. Thank you. Any I'm more questions? Seeing, um, there's a question. Maybe we'll take a few more yeah. and we'll save the rest for on the first page. Uh, Marlene says, is the tortoise bag a free pattern or a paid pattern, and where can I find it? Um, it's a paid pattern, so you can find it at SewSweetness.com. If you click on the graphic on the homepage for sewing patterns, they're all in, all in alphabetical order, so the tortoise bag being a T will be near the end of the list. Um, but it comes in the three different sizes, and this one's the medium. Oh, uh, Danny's favorite part of the show. Um, if you're a bag lady or a bag dude, let us know in the comments and be proud about it. We're trying to take our modern spin on bag lady and make it so, uh, look, not a frumpy word but um when tula pink was traveling to canada yes. remember i think someone labeled it like she was the bag lady of her group did you see that on facebook oh no i didn't yeah i think she posted like her friends refer to her as the bag lady and they she feels like it's a reference towards our show because they all watch together and stuff oh. which was pretty cool you know it's uh it's coming along yeah, so let us know in the comments if you are, and we're, we get excited to see that, and um, I also get excited to see that um, it, when people email me that let me know that they're bag ladies. Yay! Yeah. See all the bag ladies coming through the comments. Sorry, Vanessa. Oh, no. Uh, Vanessa's question was, how do I join the court club, please? We had to temporarily take that out of stock just because... Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Help me out here. To get out of stock? Because uh, we it had was a, overwhelming. It was. We had a lot more <laughs> yeah, was, people was, sign up than we yeah. expected, and uh, we didn't want to get behind. We wanted to continue to get the orders out on time, but in order to do that, we had to, excuse me, we had to close the subscriptions out to new subscribers for now. I'm sorry about that, but uh, it's really important to us that we continue to get the packages out on time. So that's why we had to make that make that tough call. Um, Donna says, how about a bag to carry rulers and rotary cutters? Um, we do have the Amethyst Project bag. I'm not sure if you've seen that or if you're interested in it. It holds up to 12 and a half inch quilt blocks. Um, it has a mesh pocket for either rotary cutters, scissors. What about Camp Stitch a lot as well? Camp Stitch a lot bag uh, might be another possibility. It has uh, clear vinyl pockets that are quite large and it has um, pockets for either patterns, rulers. It will hold a 12 inch cutting mat no 18 inch cutting mat sorry um brianna says can you cut zippers down we actually have a zipper video yep um if you check you're watching on youtube check the youtube channel there's a, a zipper video discussing different types of zippers how to trim them down um, if you have one with metal how to take some teeth out so you can trim it down so that'll be on youtube 
Another question, can you tell us what four bags are going to be in your bundle in May? So uh, the filigree double zip pouch will be in there since we already shot the video for that. The hyacinth bag, um, one of the patterns is a new bag that we haven't shown yet before. It's a crossbody bag, but uh, it's not too small. It's got some interesting features on that. I forgot what the fourth one was. Do you remember? Honestly, I don't. I we'll was, see. It's I always a big forget mystery. the fourth one. No, it's over here in my notebook. Uh oh. Let me Secrets are being revealed. Go ahead. You, you talk while I look this up in my notebook. Well, let me tell you guys. You know, that last show on Sunday, I linked a picture on the group. Or was our, my April Fool's joke? It was a reference to Fortnite, you know, video game that I like mm. to play. My son and I finally won a game together. It was so awesome. But enough about video games because Sarah's <laughs> going to start smoking out the airs. But. What's the fourth uh, bag? The fourth project in the next four pack video bundle is the Ultimate Art Organizer, which is kind of like the Creative Maker Supply Case, but it's got lots of pages inside for pens, pencils. It's like a huge art organizer. So that'll be <laughs> rounding out the four pack video bundle for May. Sometime in May. I, th we're, I think we're shooting for the middle of May. Um, Dawn wants to know, have you used craft text before on a bag? I have not, but I've gotten a lot of questions lately about that. So I'm going to buy some and show you what it looks like on the air. I've seen projects made in it, and I was sort of on the fence with the finished projects that I saw made with it. I'm not sure if it was because it was used incorrectly or I'm not sure. I wasn't impressed with the projects that I saw made with it, but maybe they were just uh, not pressed nicely or something else was going on. So I'm gonna try some and I'll show it on one of our Sunday shows. I got a giggle out of this one, Danian. Also, Myra next. If I lived near you, I would work for a fabric. <laughs> <laughs> we would hire you. <laughs> yeah. That's probably not legal, though, right? I, I guess if we'd pay her, then she'd take the money and purchase the fabric. Right. <laughs> Myra says, hi, Sarah and Danny. I'm a true bag lady. I just bought 34 yards of fabric today. Holy moly. You must be Sarah's sister, I'm thinking. 34 it, yards of fabric. I how many yards it, in a bolt? Hopefully it was on sale or clearance, maybe. I don't know. How many yards in a bolt? Um, depends on... Generally, what's like, like the standard? Uh, maybe 15. Wow. That's over two yards of... Two bolts of fabric. That's, That's a, lot a lot of fabric. A lot of fabric. Yeah. You need a lot of sewing ahead of you, I think. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's... Here's, here's a good one to get asked. Okay. All right. Um, Lisa says, are we allowed to sell a bag we make from your pattern? Yes. The home sewist is allowed to make and sell bags from my pa any of my patterns, so either book patterns or standalone patterns, and sell them either online or at craft fairs. So I always say the word the home sewist because that, you know, these bags are not meant to be manufactured on a large scale, but if you're just at sitting at home with your sewing machine, you can make it as, as many as you want and sell them. All right, Buster says a Disney Parks bag would be fun, a bag with lots of pockets for a day, in a theme park. Yes, definitely. And I'm a huge Disney fan. Maybe the Hyacinth bag might might work for you. That'll be in the next four pack video bundle. So uh, I personally like backpacks when we're traveling, oh, you know, yeah. going to theme parks and stuff. Easiest to carry is a backpack, maybe a water bottle holder or yeah. two on each side because, you know, the kids acquire different stuff as we're going around mm -hmm. and it's a lot easier carrying it to me on my back or even a crossbody bag. And we'll see what happens with the one Sarah's in development currently with. But I think, uh, that's a the pretty Cumberland good backpack, we always use ours when we go to Disney. Yes. All right, one more question. How about okay, that? Sure, one more. Did the I boss says so. Okay. Uh, oh, was that going to be your last one? Yeah, but see, I'll look for another question. Okay, all right. Okay, so um, anyway, like <laughs> I said earlier, our Tuesday shows are going to be a little different. Danny we'll said it's, it's legal. She's a payroll assistant. Oh, okay. <laughs> do the barter system. We were talking about working for Fabric, and we're being told uh, I'm payroll assistant, and it's legal. So, all right, yeah. that's good to know. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, so going forward, our Tuesday shows will be answering questions, and occasionally oh, yeah. we will post a video tutorial, but it won't be for necessarily for simple projects, maybe just a technique that we need to explore further. Um, like we did one recently for invisible magnetic snaps and traditional magnetic snaps, so something like that. We'll still be showing those on Tuesdays, but maybe not every single Tuesday. I think that's a better question. Um, Karen says, do you think there's a way to hack one of your patterns to make bike saddlebags? That's a good question. I wonder if something like this would look good on the front of a bike or... Could be. Hmm. I'll have to investigate that a little bit more because that's interesting to me because I got a new bike for Christmas and I haven't used it yet. Oh, yeah. And that would be really cool to have something like that on my bike because... <laughs> We don't live too far from anything, um, and 
one of my favorite things is to ride our bikes to Target and just buy a few small things and then ride our bikes home. So <laughs> I know that sounds kind of strange, but... Um, it's funny is when I got it for Christmas for her, she had no clue what it was. And if you were to pick... It's a large box. It's, and It was in the box. It to wasn't me, like I would I would know right away it was a bike because it's you hear it's metal clanking around <laughs> inside this big box. Did I ever tell you what I thought it was? No. I thought... Because we were redoing our bedroom. We haven't done it yet. And we were going to get <laughs> a new furniture? bed. No, no, I thought it was a headboard. You know, like a fancy, like a tufted headboard. I thought that's... <laughs> no, that's not my kind of gift. I like fun, electronics, toys, you know. Well, the bike was an awesome gift. Anyway, my new bike, hopefully we get some nice weather so I can ride it soon. But it's pretty cold still here in Chicago, so. All, All right. right. You guys have a great week. Yeah, we'll see thanks you so Sunday. much for joining us. Everyone, thanks so much for following through with the sharing and the liking, the commenting. It looks mm -hmm. like we'll be getting that free crossbody bag. Yay, and just keep up the good work, and we'll see you guys soon.